Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva and we're back in Mackenzie Point. As we last uh, episode, we were building up uh, Mason Hill. You can actually see the service road of our uh, beautiful, beautiful wind power plant all the way over there on the mountain. And you can also see the coal factory there. Strangely enough, you couldn't see anything of Mackenzie Point from those two cities, but who gives? What we are going to do is uh, get our uh, transportation system up across region as well as our high school. And uh, high school will be the first to go, but what we're also going to look at is our building density and see how people are liking it here and if they want to upgrade. And as you can see almost every house in this vicinity on these two roads is likely to upgrade and these I would love to see upgraded except for the few stores at the beginning they are not making a lot of profit but these are all the workers are going home past these shops but uh, first thing we're gonna do is upgrade these two roads to medium density and we're upgrading this entire piece at once so you're going to be medium and you're going to be medium density and uh, as uh, we bet on in our last episode or maybe the one before I'm not, I don't remember even I just went and mowed the lawn for my mother but <laughs> yeah I took a break between episodes to do that but as you can see the sims are instantly upgrading to different kinds of houses. They're going up, up, up. This means more people, which means a lot more garbage and a lot more students. So we're not picking up everything every day, so we're going to build one extra truck. I'm going to build it right over here, so we don't destroy any needless uh, industry. And they can just turn right out of the out of the lot to get everything. And we're already 24.8 tons filled, so we might as well build an incinerator, which is expensive. Jesus. Huh? Yeah. And for this, we're still going to have to destroy some industry. But one incinerator for a long time means that. Uh, we won't have any issues with garbage for probably a long time. It does a lot of burning up. Uh, let's see, yes, high school first, bus terminal later. So our high school will be... Uh, ooh. We don't necessarily want to destroy any buildings, so we're gonna put it right here. And this will make everyone in the city happy, 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 happy. Oh, hang on, there's no coverage on this area. I don't know how that's has happened, but we need to extend our student coverage a bit more. But this should be fine. Okay, let's see, it can fit 800 people. And we can expand it with a gymnasium, which raises the land value, land value, but also a capacity of 500. And this would, this can go a bit further away from it as well. It can be across the road over here. This would be a fine place to put it, but um, we're not necessarily needing it as uh, the classrooms either. I mean, they're pretty big. Uh, but we don't need them yet. I mean, it's 800 in just this high school. So, but we do want both a sign and a flag. So, and maybe one extra bus. So we, if, if necessary, we can pick up the kids on the other side of the bay from uh, Mason Hill. And here they want a train station, I assume. Working on the railroad all the go around day. Really want transportation? Ah, uh, no, not yet. 
great, I got some water this time around. But no, we don't want uh, any of that yet. Uh, the public library, it will add up to our uh, intelligence as well. Ooh, we can build my house. And fair is fair, I'm gonna live on the freaking beach. Because I can. And this will increase land value across the city. And as you see, you see the happiness go up everywhere. Well, almost everywhere, actually. It doesn't reach the entire city. But if you build it in the middle of the town, then it would definitely reach the entire city. So, wow, we have a lot of uh, increased uh, density buildings over here. We already are at 13,000 people. Which means that we are going to expand this nature park so we can up the value of these uh, citizens' buildings as well. Tree lined walkway. Uh, no, it's that one. We don't necessarily want too many buildings destroyed for this. Yeah, we can extend this park almost indefinitely until we well, until we've reached 15 in total. But this way, we extend the value of the park as well as the reach of it. Maybe have a big or park area over here as well next to the railroad. Yeah, this reminds me. Where will we have our station in the end? This would have been an okay spot, but we do want some railroad. I guess we're just going to make an offshoot over here. What do we say about sewage? The pipes are backed up. And that's not very good. Simply means that we are getting more and more people that will... Ooh, what is this? Is this going to be... Ooh, this is going to be a bigger uh, shop. That's cool. So, but as I was saying, we're going to uh, build a little bit of rail off of this. So we can actually fit in uh, a station by the end of this. Huh. Valid road. Ten. Okay, need to do this a bit further. This seems good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it actually will fit in here. There it would fit, but... Hmm. Oh, it's probably going to be on this ro rail, maybe, but... Oh, hang on. We don't actually need it to go to that side. So, we're going to just simply remove this bit. And once... Uh, yeah. Just making progress for the future. And then we can actually make this more straight to here. And this means we can simply build one over here at one point. Yes, so this is where the rail connection will be eventually. What is your issue? Every mayor, drink it up. Um, yeah, so not only is uh, sewage a problem, but water itself as well. So, we're now the city is growing exponentially. Um, we're going to quickly build our transport uh, hub for buses, our bus terminal. I mean, uh, this bus terminal. Yeah, there are two different. There's the double decker bus. It has a bit bigger capacity, making it actually better. But for now, it's going to be. And we don't want it too close to the shuttle bus depot. This, these buses will only stay in town. So we'll just build it right here. Give a bit of room for industry to expand if necessary. And now every... Uh, all the commerce loves it. Because it means that tourists can get into the city. We'll have more buses driving around town. And because we have some money, we'll already put down an extra lot of buses and a sign because you always need a sign every building that can have a sign needs a sign so now that we are connected we're going back to the region already and make sure that uh, uh, as you see um, 
purple means that school buses are actually uh, going... Are people going to school in that other town? I don't get it. Let's see. Uh, that's garbage. That's where's education over here? Okay. Um, kids from the other two towns are coming over here. But um, because we want to increase our water and our sewage capacity, we will want to uh, expand Callahan Canyon a bit so we can actually build our utilities over here. Which means that we're going to ex have to expand the amount of people living here because even though the town hall we can already build it, we still need uh, 5,000 folks living here to make use of it. Which just means that we're going to put more people in here because we can. Okay, so we're not going to put them on the avenue, simply on the side roads. Nowhere else. Oh, that's too much. There we go. Uh, one more strip over here. And we're right on top of our uh, beautiful oil uh, area, but yeah, uh, we can build our town hall straight on that avenue, it's basically the center of the town. So let's uh, speed up, yes we can rename Callahan Canyon if we so desire, what's okay with residential, oh it's going, still going up. Um, they will need a few shops to keep them happy, so let's build a few shops, uh, where shall we put those? over here and a couple on the other side. No, we don't want to impede too much on the industry. So hopefully we can get to 5,000 people with this. Uh, get everyone happy enough to uh, actually get up in density. That's why you definitely need uh, the commercial buildings here. But uh, in the meantime, let's build a couple of uh, stops for education. So we can transport anyone who wants to go to school to one of the other cities. We're almost up to a thousand. It's going to be a little while until we can actually... Holy crap, there are many workers going to the coal mine. That's going to be Huh? No, wait, they're turning around again? I have no idea, where did they mm -hmm. come from? Came from industrial goo. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's an um, hmm, interesting uh, choice, but oh well. This can happen. Okay, um, we can expand our industry on this side of the canyon as well. So, which means, sadly, that we're going to lose another factory over here. Just one though, not more. Uh, we can... Well, we'll make a curvy road, because curvy roads are more nice. And we'll just end up over here with our road. Oh, let's just end it over like this. And we can put a crossroad in at some point. Uh, it's going to be here for reasonable max density. And this just means that we can finish these areas with industry. This is basically the canyon being industrialized. Even though here's where the ore is, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, yep, that's where the ore is. But, again, we're just going to go for coal in the city. Th this region is not going to be a lot about making tons of money from building processors or even televisions. So we're just going to build a reasonable city. Maybe in... well, we're definitely going to do oil in the... in the most... Uh, in, in the region that's all the way here. And that's... I believe it's called Fort Ferguson. 
Uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be there. Um, they're talking about rail, but the rail connection is all the way over here, so we would need the rail to go here and the station here. But oh, we're almost at five thousand people. Wow, in this little, there are a lot of people living in these uh, houses. Then ah, they do want some parks. Wealth up. Place parks to increase wealth. Yeah, I don't necessarily want higher wealth than number one, but we can definitely build some barbecues. Because who doesn't love to barbecue? Or a uh, simple playground. No. See, I don't want to destroy any buildings for this, so... Yeah, and on the other side of the road seems reasonably dangerous. I mean, it's... It's basically the, uh, the highway avenue that's straight going through everywhere. Oh wow, we're making 4,000 an hour, which is good. That will mean that we have to build a fire station right now, or it will go out of control. Let's just build it over here. There will be enough room for uh, industry to expand behind it. And we'll add a sign and a flag. If it's needed to expand this one, then we can put up a bell as well. But yeah. place parks to increase land values that attract wealthier residents. Wealthier residents will hire skilled jobs and pay higher taxes. Ah, uh, yes, we might actually need some of it eventually because I'm not sure what level industry we're up to. Ooh. Our workers are dying. Uh, freight is selling really well. Density is going up slowly. I mean, that's that's uh, I like about. Uh, uh, oh, freight is full. Manage deliveries. Yes, yes, I see. Uh, we can definitely start selling the coal, but it's only a bit little amounts. Ah, there went some freight automatically. Holy, freight is going pretty damn fast in this town. So we're actually going to... no. I still misclick a lot on this game. We're going to add a freight lot or two. Just one for now and uh, see what happens. Uh, what is your issue? We're extracting tons of coal. Mayor, literally tons. It's time to expand. Uh, not yet, not yet. That will come in due time. Uh, but now that we have more than almost 50k, we can actually build a bus terminal in this city as well. It's going to fit right in here next to this bit of commercial. And this simply means that we can use a regular bus system here as well. Bus stops everywhere across from the school bus stops. some of these down so people can get around town that looks good looks very good 4,000 people yeah we do need a few more we need 5,000 to upgrade our city hall and an upgraded city hall means that we can actually build uh, our utilities department so we can upgrade our sewage outflow pipe and also our water tower yes yes we're connected to the entire region of people so that's pretty cool so yeah that's the whole reason for building the bus terminal in every city to connect with everyone and actually make the exchange of uh, workers and uh, workers and shoppers as, and everyone as uh, efficient as possible so and here we have a conga line of buses. Yeah, some of the traffic issues still aren't fixed in this game, but it it's getting there definitely. It's I mean it's running smooth. It's there's no nothing happening to the servers or anything it seems. So, oh yeah, people are dying pretty badly. So we will need a clinic. I mean it's this city it has a lot of uh, pollution. So we're going to plop down a clinic. Um, it seems that until these people get happy enough, ooh, they need more shopping. They need more shopping to be happier, which is kind of a bummer. 
but just enjoy the nature. Let's put one of these down here. Oh, that has a huge reach. So people get happier, happier, happier. Yeah, basically it's it's more huh, it's more trees among the trees, but here is actually a parking lot for people to go to. So yeah, now we have a nice park, but we still need a few more people. And uh, we're gonna put them out all the way in here, but first we do need a couple more shops, sadly, because people will need to shop more if they want to be happier and the shops will run pretty good in here as well because of the amount of people and the fewness of shops but in the end we want them to shop at in the other towns more so uh, yes we can build this to maximum capacity I suppose as long as we also add in a few bus stops behind this uh, it's just going to need one here, I assume. And there we go. Now we should definitely get to 5,000 people. Oh, there's an abandoned building. How can you be abandoned? Uh, because there was a fire. And they weren't... Uh, they hadn't responded fast enough at the fire station. Okay, how's the clinic doing? It's doing fine. This city is doing great. It's, uh, yeah, there are not going to be a lot more uh, houses in this uh, than there already are. Same goes for commercial. This is just to uh, get lots of uh, jobs up. House, yeah, you see, people are getting a bit educated. What we can do here is build a public library. It will also make the people more happy but it gives some education uh, rather than having to build an entire school for it uh, so what's the issue the city is burning but look the fire truck is right here and there are more fires simultaneously so we have to build no we don't need another fire station we simply need another uh, truck area and a bell on top so people actually, so they respond faster. Now we just hit 5,000 exactly, which means we can seriously upgrade this and build a utilities bureau. Uh, utilities, we already have transportation, we have education, but we need utilities here. There we go, utilities department. Which means that we can build a sewage treatment plant, a recycling center, and a water pumping station. And now we're going to put, um, this area will be reserved for both the, the pumping station, we'll put it on this road, when the sewage station will put it on a road here. So when the, the pumping station pumps the water out from the, that the sewage treatment plant, puts into the ground. This basically means unlimited water. And it's a little bit cheeky maybe, but it works. But why we need a water pumping station is to actually supply the region of water and uh, yeah, oh alright, this road is going to be extremely busy because there are so many people traveling on it, so we're just going to build a bonus road over here and end it with a little corner so people can actually choose on this one to where to go so this isn't, doesn't get as congested as it is now <sighs> yes this city is looking good too and we're just going to uh, wait a bit for the money to come in not approved or do we need 10,000 people probably not going to reach that anytime soon unless we upgrade all these roads to medium density but we're not going to do that anytime soon so yeah, this is our industrial town, our coal mine, we could expand it, but we want to save a little bit for the water treatment plant, and then start sending the water across the bay, and ah, now we can actually see, and morning fog comes and we see a bit less. So yeah, next door we have Mason Hill, we'll uh, check in on uh, that city in a minute too. So before we end this, uh, this episode of uh, Talk Place Sim City. So, okay, I'm, I'm too bored to wait now, her bond is going down, 
you know what, we're going to repay this one and uh, get a new one of 50,000 so we have enough to build our water treatment plant or pumping station this is, ah, I keep mixing those two up so we're going to put it all the way over here on the edge so we can expand it all the way into here and build another dirt road here for our sewage treatment and once this is opened up we can destroy the water tower so we save some there it goes so now our water tower can go we just use the pumping station to get water across and sewage is yeah the sewage treatment plant is more expensive than the water pumping station not surprisingly because it uh, it needs to do a lot more uh, interesting stuff. I mean, the water pumping station just pumps the water out of the ground. Yet the sewage treatment plant actually has to do something with the sewage to make it safe to put back into the ground. So we're going to put this one over here. It should have enough reach and just about get some people unhappy over here. But that should be easily fixed with a single uh, small water park like right here. So those people, yay, more happy, yay, you heard the kids, they were laughing, and oh, it's nice, the kids. Uh, we can put some more buildings on here, just to make them happy, maybe fit them in just right at the end. Nope, there's, uh, the buildings are too close together to do that, so. What do we want, police? Of course we want police. Ah, uh, we actually want Maxis Man as well. Every town wants Maxis Man. The only thing we it's left to do is put our sign in front of the city hall. And is our sewage working? Yes, it is, which means we're destroying the treatment plant over here in the back. Because that would otherwise keep polluting. And we can simply add some... Uh, keep going with our industry all the way to the edge so the canyon is filled with industry oh, we have an abandoned building over here and we're finally putting on region water uh, we don't want to buy it oh yeah we need to we can't provide it but we can other cities can buy it from us so uh, we have definitely enough in the Callahan Canyon to do this so we're going back to Mason Hill now we're going to uh, check up on it, maybe see if some buildings want to be upgraded yet. Uh, I highly doubt it though. It's uh, not been that long since uh, we started playing Mason Hill. Ah yes, here's where we want Max's man. Max's man! He's the man that can save town from Dr. Vu. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose that's about right. So now we have a bus terminal in every city, so they're all connected. Oh uh, yeah, let's check. Uh, we definitely lack some bus uh, stops all the way back here. Uh, we want everything in the city to be connected, though. Not just... Ah, um, uh, yes. Not just the residential, also the commercial. So, and uh, education. We probably need a few more of these bus stops as well. But just put them down where there's uh, so all the green surrounding the green becomes green. We don't want any more uh, students in our grade school. We want them all to go to uh, uh, the high school in Mackenzie Point, preferably. But uh, let's take a quick look at the density map. Okay, some of the people are ready to expand, so we're just going to put up these two streets for upgrades. It shouldn't be that expensive. No, it's not. And this cross street as well. And this one too. Just to make sure that they're all uh, beautifully connected. And simultaneously, uh, we're going to the region. And we start buying water from Callahan Canyon. As well as... Uh, we're already doing sewage treatment. And we don't need the power, because we are doing the wind power thing in this city. So, but now we are buying water, so we can destroy our water tower and save some uh, money an hour. And we didn't have a sewage pipe yet, but we can now check on the sewage and it goes... 
Yeah, the poop flow. <laughs> he who controls the poop. Or how does it go again uh, with the spice and dune? Yes, interesting. Anyway, the poop is flowing, so <laughs> Mason Hill is uh, provided for now. Which means that, uh, well, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, whatever. I know I will keep saying it until I get enough people that I don't need to say it constantly that like to watch my videos. If you do enjoy it, leave a comment. I will. I don't have that many viewers yet, so I will make sure to respond if I deem it necessary. Give me feedback, whatever, and uh, may the poop uh, flow uh, infinitely. Oh God. Why is it? It's just flowing. That's just gross.